In Iowa news, lawmakers are looking to combat rising concerns coming from artificial intelligence, specifically pictures or videos that seem or look real but are fake. State House reporter Skylar Talal dives into the different proposals House lawmakers are advi advancing. This is cutting edge technology that we're trying to uh, help protect from. Artificial intelligence is rapidly growing and legislators are trying to keep up along with figuring out the best way to deal with any unintended consequences. One proposal bans the state from using AI when counting or recording votes. It also criminalizes the use of deep fakes during an election, which are pictures or videos that may be altered to represent a candidate or election official. However, you won't be found in violation of the law if you disclose the use of AI in such content. We're venturing into new waters here with this technology, and it's something that I think we can be really proud of as a state that we are leading on this issue. Another bill would criminally charge anyone who uses AI to produce manipulated or fake photos to sexually exploit a minor. This legislation gets ahead of the oncoming problems regarding technology. And I'd like to remind everyone that the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children provides a free service called Take It Down. And it helps victims that are 18 years and younger to remove or stop the online sharing of nude, partially nude, or sexually explicit content. A separate but similar proposal looks to tackle the problem of AI in so-called revenge porn, where someone posts fake photos of an adult engaged in a sex act to harass or intimidate them. This increasing problem has led to the FBI to issue a public service announcement in June of 2023 of the increased use of deep fakes to create explicit contact, content and sextortion <laughs> schemes. House lawmakers did advance all three proposals with bipartisan support from both Democrats and Republicans. At the Iowa Capitol, Skyler to Law reporting.